anyways. Hi everybody, welcome back. So today I'm going to be talking about a piercing that I just got done um, about two, two and a half weeks ago. Um, so I kind of wanted to talk about what it is, um, the process that it took to get it, and some of the do's and don'ts and kind of things about healing. So let's get started. Okay, first of all, I got what is called the tragus pierce, which I will put a picture up here. This is what a tragus is, so it's like the little tiny triangular part of your ear. Yeah, not touching mine because they shouldn't. So anyways, that is what I got pierced. Um, number one thing I want to say is I got mine done at a tattoo expo, so it was by a professional piercing company that happened to be at the tattoo expo. It was kind of last minute, but I did it. Um, that is the number one thing I want to say. If you're going to get a piercing, especially if it's a cartilage piercing, get it done by a professional piercer. Particularly, usually they're at tattoo shops. I don't think there's many like just freestanding piercing places, but if you have one by you, you can go and do it there. Um, but even if you're just getting like your lobes pierced or especially any cartilage, get it done by a professional. I'm going to include a link of where I got all of my information as to why you need to get it done by a professional, but I'm just going to give you a few kind of tips as to why it should be, um, why you should get it done by a professional. Um, number one is the sterilization process. So obviously you don't want to get it done by like um, a piercing gun. Like you know the ones that have like a Claire's like this Yeah, You don't want that. No. One reason is because they're not sterilized properly. When you get it done by a professional piercer they're going to have everything like individually sealed. They have like iodine. They have all these different steps and processes and they'll kind of uh, talk you through each one. Um, about as to what they're doing next and so on but when you go to like a place with a piercing gun they can't sterilize those properly and um, professional places have like autoclaves and all of those things to make sure that everything is sterile and very clean especially if you're getting a cartilage piercing it's more easily to get infected so that's why you want to get it done uh, there the second reason why you want to get it done by a professional piercer with like a needle and everything is because if you use um, a gun, it, it looks like it would be really sharp but it's actually more of a dull tip and it just uses a lot of pressure to like pierce through the skin. Now if you're getting done on an earlobe, it doesn't do as much damage. It still does some and you still should get your lobes pierced properly but in a cartilage it can cause severe uh, tissue damage and you can get infections easier. I'm not going to go too much into it. Like I said, I will have a link below um, of where you can read much more in-depth information as to where Red Mine and everything from Professional Piercer Association, I think it is, and as to why it's more dangerous to get it done by a gun. The piercing that I have, um, if you show the picture here again, the piercing that I have is an opal. It is my birthstone. And when they first pierce your ear, um, they use a little bit of a longer uh, jewelry piece because of swelling. And then after a while, they'll kind of explain when you can go and get it, um, you know, shortened, when you can change it, all of that type of stuff. They'll usually give you a list, and you can contact the person if you need to. Um, for the healing time, it is nine to twelve months with cartilage piercings it is going to take quite a bit longer so if you decide you want to have you know your ear pierced and I don't know you wear headphones or you wear things like that you have to think about that for myself um, I do video relay service interpreting so I have like a little earpiece like a headset that goes over my ear so I always use it on my left hand side so I got my right pierced because that can heal and nothing's going to touch it if you are, he did ask me, you know, he said, do you wear um, like earbud headphones on a daily basis or if you're a nurse or a doctor that has a stethoscope every day, you probably shouldn't get your tragus pierced because every time you put them in, it's going to push it and it's going to keep moving it and it's not going to be able to heal properly and it's just going to get really annoyed. So if that's the type of job that you have or you're going into, um, I would avoid getting a tragus piercing. There's other places you can get pierced if you want to. For the aftercare. Uh, you can, they said you can just use like a, a spray for this kind, for trachis, just use like a spray. You can use a saline solution. Um, I will have a picture here of what I'm using. 
um, and that I just asked the pharmacist if that would be okay, it's just an antiseptic spray. And then you spray your ear like twice a day. If for some reason you, you touch your ear or you think you might get it dirty, I would spray it again just to be sure. Try not to touch the piercing as much as possible. Um, the only time I've ever touched my piercing is accidentally if I like, I don't know, rub my hair or something or I don't know if I hit it or if I hug someone, I'm like, ah! But other than that, I don't touch my piercing at all. Uh, if there's any sort of like skin or anything, just go in the shower and just kind of let some hot water get on it and that will clean it. But you know, the less you're moving it, the better so that it can heal and it won't hurt as much. Like I said, I had mine done about two and a half weeks ago and it's still kind of tender, not too bad, but I wouldn't be sleeping on it or anything. You know, clean your sheets and pillows if you do end up sleeping on it for some reason. Just keep everything really clean. Okay, that is it. I hope this has helped you guys if you're interested in getting a tragus piercing or any other piercing, the tips and that are kind of general to most piercings. And if you have any questions, um, please leave a comment below. I will do my best to answer them. If not, I will research that or ask my piercer and get back to you on that. And yeah, I will have other videos down here, so definitely click like and share them. I'd really appreciate it. And as always, if you're not subscribed, please click the subscribe button. I would love for you to come back. What other videos do you want me to do? Let me know. Subscribe, and then leave me a comment of what you want me to do so that I can do it for you. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody.